Software developers have huge problem right now in the industry. And the problem is nobody sees you. Yes, I said it. Nobody sees you. So what is happening in tech right now? We see a lot of layoffs. We see the market is oversaturated, which we're going to talk about it in a minute. Uh, we see a lot of anxiety and a lot of uncertainty. And we see also where other industries, other companies are still hiring. Welcome to my channel. If it is the first time we're connecting, my name is Eugene Berezing. I am a career coach in tech who knows tech, and I'm also a senior iOS developer. And I help software developers to reach and maximize their earning potential within 90 days and become industry expert within 90 days. Because I've done it myself. And yes, I'm not kidding you within 90 days. So let's go back to the piece. Here's the thing. When one company goes through layoff for various reasons, another company from another industry is hiring. The problem is you're not visible. And also this problem applies for software developers who are yearning to make more and grow and do more and do better and maximize their earning potential. And now you might be falling into trap like, well, let me, let me just sit here and weather the storm at my company as, as we're going through that shakeup in tech. Forget about my growth. Like, I just don't want to get laid off. I just, I just want to, I, I, I just, I just want to learn a, a, a low and wait until the storm passes. Here is a problem. You're not visible. You're not visible. Let me, let me bring you an example. Let me bring you, like, tell you a story or uh, uh, give you an example. In 2016, I was a QA engineer. So what I did, I did web testing, I did web automation with Selenium web driver. I did API testing. I did mobile testing. I knew it all. I was learning Python. I was learning page object model. I was, I was, I, I, I knew and I was doing, or at least on the paper, I knew all of those things, right? So, and it was it was just my resume. It was just my resume on Dice on Indeed, and uh, I also had my um, LinkedIn profile not optimized. Okay, so what happened then is that I would get interviews. But it was a struggle for me to land an interview. In 2016, when there was no layoffs, like massive layoffs going on, we like the tech industry was good uh, for uh, everybody, especially for QA engineers, because like uh, we uh, we didn't have a massive, massive um um shift to, towards automation so manual testing was a big thing and and it's still a big thing but like back then it was it was a big thing but it was a struggle for me to land a job or to land an interview i still landed in the interview within 90 days which is like perfect but there was a problem nobody saw me when i was looking for my second job again I was panicking and applying for so many jobs and nobody saw me. It's not until I started figuring out what my zone of genius was. And when I started focusing instead of web, backend, Python, this and that, when I... Um, 
I moved to Seattle, like from Florida, and I started honing in into one very narrow area of expertise. And that very narrow area of expertise was XUI test and mobile testing. Then I stopped applying for jobs online because I thought my zone of genius. Not many people could do what I did. I put myself out there and floodgates were just open. So many software engineers right now in the industry have a problem. Nobody sees you. And nobody sees you because you haven't found your zone of genius. I said it. Nobody sees you because you haven't found yet your zone of genius, your niche, your unique skill. So I invite everybody, everyone who's watching this video, drop me in the comment. What is your zone of genius or like if it also dropped me in the comment I need to think about it because I didn't know what my zone of genius was and for me it actually required to go and learn new skill I focused on what was like near and dear to my heart and what was really interesting to me and then it just took off so fight your zone of genius Thank you for watching this video and um, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and um, follow me for more and I'll see you in the next video.